Well, a fundraiser has been set up for a dog found tied to a gravestone in a Malton cemetery. The dog was badly hurt and emaciated, but is recovering tonight. WBZ's Christina Rex is in Malton tonight, where she has spoken to the folks who found that animal. The sick pit bull was spotted here at the Forestdale Cemetery in Malden. And at first, animal control officers had a hard time catching her because she was so shy. <laughs> Looking at sweet forest, you'd never be able to tell what the year and a half old pit bull has been through. Freezing and frostbit and emaciated and one of her legs was just dangling. Forrest was found at the end of March, roaming the Forestdale Cemetery in Malden, spotted for several days, abandoned and alone. This is a common breed to get dumped. These are the ones that I get a lot. Animal control officers recruited Lisa Cutting to get the dog to safety. Cutting owns Ocean View Kennel and spends most of her time nurturing abandoned dogs, most of them pit bulls, back to health. It doesn't get easier because there's nobody accountable. Forrest was shy and hurt at first. Cutting believes she was abused, bred, and then dumped. You try to take that anger and just focus on the dog. Because if you got angry at every, you wouldn't do it anymore. The rescue part of this job is heart wrenching. It ages you, you lose sleep. This quiet girl has come a long way. Now friendly with strangers, just some minor scarring, and a 16 pound weight gain. But she needs surgery to fix fractures and tendon tears in both her back legs. That's what her bill is going to be. It comes at a steep price. Forest vets estimate more than $6,000. The goal is to get the former cemetery dog fully back to health and into a loving home. I believe in them. And when she came out of our shell, she proved to me, like most of them do, I'm a good dog. It was a a person let me down. I didn't let them down. And a GoFundMe page has been started to help pay for forest surgery on her legs. You can find that link at cbsboston.com. In Malden, Christina Rex, WBZ News.